Hello there. My name is Andrew and I have an addiction to collecting VST instruments and effects. I guess now that it's out there on the World Wide Web, I should also state that I also have an addiction to fine wine and shoes. This is a quick tip video and we don't really have the time to discuss my addictions or my problems. If you're the same as me and you like collecting a large array of effects from Steinberg and other manufacturers, then maybe it's time you thought about organizing them. Cubase Pro has this really cool way of being able to actually custom design your own management and organization of your plugins. I can't believe I just said cool. Okay, it's really nerdy and geeky, but it is actually really easy. And once you do it, it's kind of a little bit of a game changer because if you collect a lot of effects, sometimes you forget about a particular effect and then you go into a mastering folder and bang, there it is right in front of you. And you're like, ah, that's exactly what I've been looking for. If only I could do that with my shoes. Anyway, let's go to the plugin manager, devices, plugin manager, and now we've got this new window. Well, newish inside of Cubase anyway. You can see we've got VST effects and VST instruments. And over on the right hand side, we've got these beautiful folders and then, well, effects that aren't in folders. And the OCD in me just hates that. Down the bottom, if you've got older plugins, you can specify a path for your VST2 plugins. I could be wrong here, but I think older VST instruments didn't have any information that defined what type of plugin they were. So they never got put into allocated folders. Over on the right hand side, it's a little bit confusing because I'm looking at some of these plugins and I know that they are also inside of folders. So it got me wondering why I have duplicate plugins that are inside folders, but also straggling around the bottom there doing nothing and just not being organized at all. For instance, Fab Filter Micro. That's inside the filters folder and it's also outside all of the folders. So what I have to do is go over to the left hand side and find that Fab Filter Micro plugin and there it is. And I've got two of them. So that's why there's one inside the folder and one outside. I can see that one of them is VST3 and the other one is VST2. And I remember now loading an older project that had VST2 Fab Filter plugins and it wasn't loading the preset up. So the only workaround was to go to the FabFilter website where they have been gracious enough to allow you to download the older VST2 plugins and install them and get access to those old presets that you'd saved. You may have noticed that the add folder icon is grayed out and that's kind of Steinberg saving us from ourselves really. The developers have rightly made it so that we need to create our own new collection before we go and start organizing these folders. So now I can add a new folder and I'm gonna call this FabFilter VST2. Once I've done that, I simply go and find all of the effects that I wanna add into this folder, drag it straight up and dump it into the FabFilter VST2 folder. And now they're there. Just in case you don't believe me, let's head over to the left-hand side to audio inserts and there's a new folder that we've created with the effects neatly stored away in the folder. It's amazing. Let's head over to the VST instrument tab. And once you've clicked on that, you can see all of the VST instruments that you have access to. Now there's a lot of instruments that aren't in folders and you can see that some of the Steinberg instruments are placed in folders. But if I highlight the rest of the VST instruments and try and drag them in, it's not gonna happen. And that's because I still need to create a new collection. So I'm going to create a new collection and I'm going to say add all plugins, name it, and it's going to look exactly like the default collection that was already there. And now it's really easy to drag and drop these plugins over into that synth folder. I could do this for all of my VST instruments or I can do it another way. If I go up to user collections, I can go down to the bottom of the menu and select sort by vendor. And look at that, all of a sudden, my effects are organized according to the manufacturer. They're still not really that organized, but it's not gonna take me long to sort them into folders so that I can recall them very quickly. Now, when I go to add track and select instrument, I can see those folders. And I guess if you're using the same plugins on a day-to-day -day basis, it's probably going to be a little bit faster finding them 
through this method. As always, thanks for joining me for another quick tip video. Please don't tell my wife that I buy a lot of plugins. See you next time.